Light Heavyweight Division Collision. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the crowd, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Liddell's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nicely done early here with the takedown. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad. But now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Tonight, good work here by the Iceman. Back to the feet now. Effective punch there by Chuck Liddell. Oh, nice. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, you see. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Punch is blocked. Right off the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Just misses with the right. The Iceman gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Bleeding from his cheek now. Right hand on point. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Chuck Liddell. Clean left punch followed by the right. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You gotta defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Good work from the top here by Chuck Liddell. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Back to his feet. He blocks the punch. Beautiful punch. Man. Oh, oh. Punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Good right here. 
Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Pretty good right hand. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh, now going for the takedown. He went right into the single leg, used the power of his legs to lift him and slam him to the ground. Final second to round one. Oh, he does it again, takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is what a fight so far. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we are, early round two. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! He's hurt man. He's out! He's done, he's done! Oh, oh! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 11 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout, the Irishman, Chuck Long.